Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to talk about a, an alternative to the idea of more primaries characters. And we're going to ask a very simple question. Why not Dreadnoughts? And this is uh, essentially in response to... In response to? It's more of a follow-up. I'm not responding to myself. That'd be weird. A follow-up to last week's room, rumour video about there being more primaries characters on the way, which I feel like my disdain for what like that class of rumour... You know, sticking no shit in the title, I think, probably probably laid out how I felt about that particular guess that isn't a guess, because of course Games Workshop are going to be working on more Primaris characters. When is that ever not going to be true? Just, just as a blanket statement, of course there are going to be more. But the thing is, I did kind of get, get to thinking when I read the comments for that video, where a lot of you, admittedly, had the same reaction as me, which was to just go, well, yeah, obviously... But quite a few people just didn't like the idea of more Primaris characters full stop. Now, I know there is a lot of, of dislike for Primaris as a whole, but there is some interesting kind of comments on that video that essentially boil down to why, why can't Primaris get their own stuff, or why does everything have to lead up to that point? I mean, in terms of, in terms of like, business stuff, it's pretty clear that Primaris is the replacement for the standard Space Marine range. The standard Space Marine range, whilst it's currently not going anywhere, I don't think it's going to be expanded on in any particular way. Whereas there's just going to be more and more primary stuff as they slowly replace it, and then eventually standard Space Marines will be phased out. In terms of the like the real world, the tabletop side of things, that is what's going to happen. But the problem is it's very unsatisfying when it comes to the actual lore. If we just have all of these characters just, you know slowly turn into Primaris until there are no standard Space Marine characters left, that's not particularly satisfying, that's not particularly fun, and as someone who has a currently not quite obscene enough n number of Dreadnoughts, I feel like there there is another option that has never really been properly explored, that I would really like to see explored at least a little bit before it becomes completely non-viable. And that is characters actually being interred in Dreadnought. Because one of the main cool metal, like, over-the-top things about Space Marines is that even in death, they can still serve. That is one of the, the biggest, like, catchphrases slash memes slash repeated things out of the 40k universe. Even in death, I still serve. A Space Marine can be absolutely destroyed be completely beyond functioning as a living being anymore. And yet, he can be placed into this sarcophagus, which is then placed into a giant stompy robot, be given a fist the size of most creatures' upper torsos, and also some sort of, like, Laz or Gatling or assault cannon for a hand on the other arm, and just sent off into battle again. It's one of the most, like over-the-top extreme parts of Warhammer 40k, the way Dreadnoughts work. And I also feel like it's been, like, criminally overlooked and underused when it comes to... just when it comes to character's progression or a character death. Yeah, we do have, like, the odd example. We do have some interesting cases. I mean, Cone the Risen is an interesting thing from Forge World. It's a cool model as well. But when you look at how many characters there are, Possible progressions for characters, the fact that, you know, different space marines and different characters die all the time or are wounded and then are nursed back to health over and over again. As an actual mechanic of the 40k universe, it really feels like we don't have enough in the way of significant characters from the story who are able to continue fighting after death through the use of a dreadnought. It's a genuinely weird thing to have not seen more, the more you think about it. It's supposed to be an honour that is essentially reserved for only the most resilient, only the most disciplined, only the most capable of Space Marines, which in itself is an insane thing to say, because that describes all Space Marines. You have to be an exceptional person amongst exceptional people, to even qualify for that, you also need to be pretty much dead as well, which admittedly, you know, does lower the uh, the, the rate of entry. But of the people interred in Dreadnoughts, 
you would expect there to be a a decent number that are named characters, that are people who were once, you know, leaders of their chapter or leaders of companies or, you know, more more like more Bjorn and more Kuln and and less just here's a redemptor or here's a contemptor. It's something that's been like massively overlooked, I think. Something that has not been exploited as much as it possibly could. An opportunity for interesting, cool, different designs for Dreadnoughts that just hasn't really been explored. And it would be so much more fun and interesting than just, oh, well, now he's a Primaris. I would love to see characters die and be put into Contemptors or Leviathans or, or Derrideos or like some sort of like crazy, some sort of crazy... Redemptor that is a, a fallen Primaris chapter matter, even. Some something that properly brings that brings that up to the level it should be. Where it is the best who then fall and then continue to fight in a different form. When you think about the idea of a bunch of Space Marine characters either dying and then being brought back via Primaris route or whatever or willingly undergoing the possibility of becoming a Primaris, even though the chance of them succeeding is like 48% or something. I think Primarnius Kalgar, the chances of him dying were like 62% or some shit. That is okay, but it's not exactly last stand followed by still fighting material, is it? Kalgar, like Kalgar just going, yeah, let's do it, let's go, Primaris, let's go, do it. Oh, you've got a 60% chance that you'll die. Yeah, sure, why not? That does not strike me as being a particularly heroic or sound action. That's just... He needed to do that because they needed to make a Primaris version of Kalgar. Kalgar falling in some sort of god-awful battle against, you know, whichever chaos force happened to assault him that time, or perhaps finds a... Uh, finds a hive tyrant or something that just gets lucky and smashes the shit out of him. I don't know. Some sort of heroic end, followed by being placed in some sort of prototype redemptor chassis that has got two massive power fists and has got two massive guns, or something like that, is way more interesting to me than just, yeah, yeah, he's, he's Primaris now. Nice. Oh, yeah? Oh, what caused that? No, he, just, he just did it. What's the story? He just, well, he just decided to, pretty much. Uh, no, no, that's that's not fun. That's not interesting. That's nothing. That's just we need to make a Primaris version of this thing. So let's make a Primaris version. There's no story behind that. There's no. There's just nothing heroic about it in a in a in a way. Whereas I mean, come on. The number of dreadnoughts there are. The number of space marines interred in dreadnoughts. You're seriously telling me that we couldn't have like, like a last hurrah of a lot of the characters, or at least a few of the characters being interred in one of these things, or, you know, newer versions, or just different versions of the Contemptor, even. This is a bad example to use, because he's got a load of shit all over him, but I would much prefer to buy a character that used to be a standard Space Marine, but is now in one of these, than a character who was a standard Space Marine, and then went, Primaris me up, boys, it's time to go. One of those embodies everything it is to be about a Space Marine about death in combat, about brief violent lives, about serving even when you are almost physically incapable of even surviving. That's what being a dreadnought is. Just going, oh, yeah, make me eight foot tall, please. That's, like, that is not the same thing, is it? It's just not as... It's just not as hardcore or brutal as the rest of 40k is. It's too much of a choice. It's too much of a... It's too much of an easy way of doing it. And it does overlook one of the core components of being a space marine. One of the most interesting parts of that force. One of the most interesting parts of the law. That you can actually have these guys continue to serve even well beyond the point where they should be dead. The Primaris version of a character is never going to be as interesting or as brave or as inspiring as the Dreadnought version of that character because, well, it's just not as good, is it? And I don't know whether this is like a delayed reaction to all the Primaris stuff appearing. I don't know whether this is just like the fact that I my Dreadnought obsession is just getting too silly at this point. But it just has a level of satisfaction that the Primaris stuff doesn't have. 
And if we're going to see a bunch of characters change, if we're going to see characters die or be replaced or primarist up, at least give a few of them something more than that story, because that story is going to be the same pretty much every time. And I'd much prefer to see a variety of heroic last stands than a variety of it's time to be big now. Because last stands are just more 40k than voluntarily having a few more steroids injected, which is a very simplified way of putting it, and not at all accurate, but you get what I mean. Essentially, I just want more cool standard Space Marine shit, and Dreadnoughts are right up there with the coolest standard Space Marine shit. So more of those would be nice, especially if they are actually named versions of characters. That would tick all the boxes for me. That was very rambly. But you get the idea. I just want more Dreads. I want more cool stuff. And primary characters are okay, but they're not as cool as giant walking robots that stomp things into the floor and uh, punch things with fists the size of other people's entire bodies. And that's just, I'm afraid, how it is for me personally. But yeah, more of that would be good. The thing is, do you think that is in any way even likely to happen? Do you think we could ever see an actual, like, like something like Beyond the Fell Handed or, or something like that? Something that is not just an upgrade to Primaris, but something a bit more... A bit more stompy than that? I think probably not, but it would be nice if it did happen. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Feel free to click all the things. Patreon video, subscribe. That was very uh, desynchronized, wasn't it? And, uh, well, click them if you like. Don't click them if you don't want to. And I will see you for the next one. Toodaloo.